Fanatics has the ability to build a platform that can be everything all this back. At Invincible, redefined both the uh, idea of virtual sports and how people participate in virtual sports, and we're trying to redefine competitive gaming. There was not a second of downtime, and we were taking on Super Bowl level traffic. The feedback we kept getting from everyone we talked to, from investors to strategics, is wow, that's really ambitious, which is code for there's no way you guys are going to build all that. <laughs> <laughs> what our mission is is to help you understand as a sports better your strengths and weaknesses. But it all really stems from the fact that we're accruing tons of data and, and tons of lines from from sports books. Have have confidence that the way we do it is is pretty accurate. It's pretty close to what happens in real life. Thank you for doing this and 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 we'll all go get your book. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And thanks for reminding me that I uh, wrote a book. I had for today. <laughs> we'll say the, um, the the sun never sets on the Red Knot Empire. How's that? Is that a good night? <laughs> <laughs> can we, can we steal time. that for data art? You know, <laughs> with, uh... Beyond, there's been three major innovations in the industry. Um, the first one was in play. The second one was cash out. And the third one was in game parlay. Uh, and I definitely expect one of the major trends of the next three to five years in this space to be a decrease in decision fatigue and decision friction. Good product, better product, um, focus on personalization, um, focus on customer engagement. A lot more focus on profitability and, and push pressures than sometimes uh, it makes sense to outsource some of your kind of non-core. And sometimes it's the non-sexy work that has the biggest impact. Yeah, yeah well, we're, we're definitely good at rolling up our sleeves and making clients look good. <laughs> <laughs>